Hey everybody, it's Grant here with a quick word for you today. Uh, if you've been following along in our Bible reading plan, uh, which follows through all the Gospels uh, chronologically from Christmas until Easter, and you should be following along. If you aren't, here's a perfect chance to jump in. It's available on our website at cedarvalley.ca. Anyways, today we landed on uh, John chapter 18. And really this passage is following Jesus right after he's been arrested and now being taken by soldiers into, uh, into captivity for questioning and prosecuting. And really, these are moments where everything is starting to go badly. If, if it was a movie, this would be the time where uh, the, the big scheme, the big plan for victory fails. And it doesn't just fail a bit, but it starts spiraling out of control. Um, all of Jesus' followers and friends were experiencing fear and panic and anxiety, distraught, like everything wasn't going according to plan. Really sounds like something quite relatable, I think, for a lot of us. And uh, in all this, Peter, a close follower and friend of Jesus, uh, in, gets caught up in all of this fear. And this is a guy who said he would never abandon Jesus, never leave his side. And being caught up in all of this fear ends up denying and actually telling people that he doesn't even know Jesus. Like he's not part of that group whatsoever. And in all this, Peter is so beautifully relatable uh, because he start, he's idealistic, he has hopes, he's got faith. And he stumbles and screws up just, uh, you know, when the world bears down on him so much, he can't, he just can't quite reconcile it all together. He gets caught up in the turmoil of the, what's happening around him. And, and Jesus too, here's a bit of a spoiler, but Jesus too is so beautifully patient in that he, he forgives Peter. He brings Peter back in and he understood that Peter was emotionally caught up in the panic. He knew what was going to happen. So really, we're in a time where we've lost a lot of the stuff that we would normally fill our time with. And in theory, we should have all this free time. But I bet you a lot of you, like me, have found yourselves being busier. And I bet you a lot of the stuff that you've been finding yourself busy in is just an emotional burden of keeping up with what's going on, hearing about the devastation happening around the world, really just filling yourself and your time with this constant stream and feed of panic inducing information and we can get caught up in that and ultimately we start ignoring god and we we could be deepening our our time and relationship with god but we get caught up in all of this turbulence so here's a practical challenge for all of you is to intentionally eliminate that amount of intake, the amount of fear-inducing noise that you let come into your life in the day, uh, and really pace yourself. So in all honesty, give yourself a cutoff time of 10 minutes. If you're if you're just going through feeds on Facebook or if you're taking the news and it's just this COVID-19 related conversation, give yourself a timer, 10 minutes, walk away from it. I would even say five minutes at a time. Take the what you would be spending time just soaking in more of the information, pray, start focusing on being on Thanksgiving and uh, you know it, it'll be a thing that we do still need to stay informed and on top of stuff and you're going to be watching this on social media too so it's not all bad but give yourself real time restrictions to not let yourself get caught up in that moment that's happening for so much of us right now and I know I'm experiencing the same thing so I hope that's helpful I hope that uh, you guys can enjoy the rest of your day and uh, God bless.